did a lot of swing work like last off season with K Long and stuff. How how did you feel like those changes like worked or didn't work this season? Or are you gonna kind of keep trying to make similar? So changes? I'd say uh, you know throughout the season, I'm still a work in progress. Yeah. And uh, towards the end of the year, I started getting comfortable. And uh, during you know I was back up here pinch hitting a good bit. I felt you know felt pretty good up there. So I think that's something just kind of I'm gonna you know take with. But I feel like you're always trying to tweak, try to get better. So as always, you're never fully. All right, this is it. You know, you're always trying to learn and get better, and that's something I'm gonna try to do this off season. What did that, that kind of change the swing? What, what kind of differences did you did you notice, or did things maybe that did you? Uh, I don't know what results did you feel? I guess. So the the big things were just learning how to use my legs. You know, in the past, it's kind of more upper body swing, and just learning how to use the legs is something that definitely helped out and was able to hit the ball harder. I think now it's just kind of take what some of the things I used to do good and bring in to using my legs and finding, you know, something that works for me right now. You know, things could be changing and kind of shuffling in the outfield depending on Bryce and stuff like that. What, how do you approach spring training this year? Do you any differently? Nah, same, same as every year. You know, that stuff's out of my control, really. I'm just going to have to go out and, you know, do what I do and play like I can play and, and try not to let that affect me. That being said, do you kind of set any goals or do you kind of – like things in your head just because of that, or again, no, it definitely. I feel like the goal going to the camp, you just want to be on the big league roster. So going to the camp, you know, that's something I'm gonna try for, and you know, I'm gonna do my best to see if I can make that happen. I mean, you mentioned that quite a bit in the season that you kind of were in a role where you were coming off the bench, playing some defense, pinch running, pitch, you know, pinch hitting. I'm just how, how comfortable do you feel in that, uh, and as you kind of do that more and more, like good, yeah. No, I think uh, you know, coming off the bench early in my career, that's something I've never really had to do. So. Last year and the year before, just kind of getting getting my feet wet and getting that going, I think it's definitely helped me out for going in this year and have the ability to come off the bench and you know had some success out there. So, just to show you know show that I can do it and that's something that you know will help out. And you, you also have taken defense pretty seriously too. Your outfield numbers are very good. Can you tell me how important that is to make sure that they, you know that you are an elite defender as well? And how much work you put into that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, defense has kind of always been. My big thing coming up, you know, I was known for my glove in college and that and the bat. So it's always been there, but I think I'd be more so known for my glove. So last year was kind of a difference coming off the bench and being a, you know, a bat coming off the bench. But, you know, I'm always, you know, can go out there, you can put me in any position. I think I'll do a pretty good job. And does the weight room and your workouts and stuff, is that something that can give you an advantage um, in the off season? To, to definitely, get, definitely. You know, you have to get always get bigger, stronger, faster. And that's something I try to do every off season, just go and put some weight because it's a long season, and to get your body ready for 162 games is is kind of challenging. But uh, you know, we got enough time to get your body ready and and do that. You got some LSU guys that you work with, or what's, what's the people that you work with? So uh, normally I kind of just go back. I'm in Metairie right now. It's yeah. kind of right outside New Orleans, and uh, I just kind of go back and forth between there and Baton Rouge. And I got a few guys in Baton Rouge that I'll hit with, and but mainly I just kind of stay in New Orleans and do my thing over there. You still with the LSU got uh, coaching staff too, or not really? No, it's kind of just On player, yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, just players only stuff. So. How big a motivating factor is the relocation of the AAA franchise? Too? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely a little incentive, but uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's it's far away away, but you know, it is what it is, and uh, try to make the best of, it and try to make the team out of camp.